Hello, I'm Joe Streche. It's a great pleasure to meet you. If I don't know you, it's a pleasure to meet you for the first time. Otherwise, it's good to see you again. So, if you don't know me already, I work in the blindness field. I advise organizations and businesses around navigating the blindness community or disability community. Um, I also talk to young people about navigating the employment process, but also learning about yourself and how that can help you uh, enter employment. Um, I've done this type of work all over the United States and uh, I just wanted to try to bring it to a virtual platform. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about myself and where I came from, uh, but each video will have a little bit more information about uh, lessons that I would like to bring to you all. Have a great day. Cool. I hope you enjoy. So I grew up in northern New Jersey, uh, great parents, uh, two brothers, a twin brother, an older brother. Uh, you know, uh, at 11, I was diagnosed and my mom was diagnosed with uh, a retinal disease and, and deteriorated our vision from the outside to the inside uh, called retinitis pigmentosa. Um, I was legally blind at 19. I can remember uh, at 17 or 18, probably 18, going to an eye doctor on my own and driving, legally driving, being able to drive, and uh, going to the eye doctor. And, uh, and uh, the eye doctor at the end of the appointment uh, came in and said, uh, you'll be totally blind by the time you're 25. And then he uh, walked out and I was there and alone and, uh, and, and just wondering, uh, yeah, what comes next and, and just being in shock. And I knew my vision was deteriorating. I didn't know like at what time or age, no one ever was bold enough to say an age where I would be blind or uh, that I would be totally blind. Um, so it was new information uh, delivered in a specific manner, maybe not the manner I would deliver some information like that. Uh, but I left and I, I got into my car and uh, I started driving and got lost and just pulled over and was crying because I hadn't really thought about the future. I, I truthfully, I had a learning disability and I got a lot of services and great services regarding that learning disability throughout school and I'm grateful for that. But I, I never had any services around visual impairment. Uh, it wasn't impacting my education at that time, really. Um, there were some implications otherwise, but uh, not really in my education. And uh, so I, I left and uh, I went and saw some friends and they helped me through that. But, uh, and I moved on and I went to college. I went to East Carolina University in North Carolina. Uh, and uh, during my first semester, I lost a lot of vision. Um, and, I, and I was legally blind and, uh, and, I, and I got depressed regarding that. But you know what, uh, I was lucky enough to connect with people who helped me navigate that and realize that blindness is not uh, the biggest obstacle out there and, and really uh, your mindset and how you think about things and, and your focus on things uh, makes a big difference and, and having the support of others as well. Uh, and, and really, my life has been awesome because of that. Um, a lot of people have impacted my life. Um, so uh, losing vision, I didn't get services for my vision during college and I, I tried. Uh, the Student Disability Resource Center was the biggest resource that I was able to uh, connect with at East Carolina University and they were pretty awesome. Uh, but I, I tried to connect with North Carolina's blindness services and uh, they would schedule orientation mobility lessons and never show up. Uh, I think after three attempts, I, I gave up and uh, I, you know, made it through college, memorizing a lot. Uh, you know, travel at night was meant bloody shins and uh, <laughs> obstacles and, and definitely some, some, uh, some stress along that manner. Um, you know, uh, and I'll share more about that in the future. Uh, 
but uh, after college, I, uh, I, uh, I was, I see, I graduated in public relations, sports, and I went into sports marketing and PR, thinking that was where I wanted to be. And uh, I, I realized early on that it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. Um, I enjoyed helping people. I enjoyed, and uh, and I was trying to figure out where I wanted to be. Um, I internship ended. I thought I would move into work, and I didn't. Um, it was soon after September 11th, and um, I uh, was lucky enough uh, to go in for a substitute teaching job, uh, and or a uh, teacher's assistant job, and and I went to substitute, and they offered me a full time job, so I. I took that. I worked at a school for emotional and behavioral special ed in the physical education department uh, as a teacher's assistant and working with some amazing people. And I uh, actually had a couple students who were visually impaired at the school. Um, but I, I learned a lot about working with students and working with teachers and learning from those teachers that I worked with. And it started realizing that. Um, I could make an impact in that manner. And I did get services for my blindness at, during this time. I learned how to use the white cane, and that's another story. And I learned how uh, the, I, start, I started learning Braille, and I started learning organizational techniques and labeling, um, uh, some of the basics. And I, I'm grateful to the New Jersey Commission for the Blind for that. Uh, they definitely uh, stepped up and, and gave me that opportunity uh, after a f two years of working in that arena, I, uh, I was applying to graduate schools for uh, teaching children who are blind or visually impaired after talking to a lot of people working in that field and, and figuring out that might be something I'd be interested in. And uh, so I ended up at Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida. Go, go Knowles. Uh, loved it. And uh, uh, connected with a lot of great people there in Tallahassee. Besides uh, the fantastic program in uh, visual disabilities, I also uh, learned from a lot of people who are blind or visually impaired uh, there in Tallahassee who really mentored me and, and helped me uh, uh, connect with the blindness community and uh, feel a part of it. And I uh, got to introduce to Paralympic sports thanks to someone named Mickey D'Amelio um, and Michael Elliott. Uh, both uh, giving me that opportunity and uh, played goalball, uh, which was a great, great introduction into the world and, uh, and a great community to be a part of. Um, during my graduate work, I uh, got involved in transition from school to work, so helping uh, students who are blind or visually impaired navigate the the world and prepare uh, for employment or post-secondary and work during a college or university prep program. Uh, helped to create a curriculum with uh, my friend Tiffany uh, Conrad um, and I've done presentations about that, uh, the VI College Survival Guide, um, you know, learning what you need to uh, succeed and how to prepare for it. Um, but uh, that program taught me a lot about some of the gaps in, in the world and, and, and how we prepare students who are blind or visually impaired. And um, our program encouraged myself and Tiffany to get involved in it. And uh, I got introduced to people like Dr. Karen Wolf and, uh, and, and so many others. And uh, you know, I went off and did my student teaching in Brooklyn, New York at Edward R. Murrow High School. And, uh, went and then I did my, oh, I did my orientation mobility uh, uh, internship at the New Jersey Commission for the Blind, teaching people how to travel uh, independently with the white cane or uh, while utilizing their uh, guide dog. Um, also, uh, and, and soon after that, I, I took a full-time position as an orientation mobility instructor in New Jersey uh, while trying to really get my foot in the door and transition because that's where my passion was. Uh, you know, orientation mobility was great and I incorporated a lot of transitional skills, employment skills and for uh, individuals because everyone is, you know, the ultimate goal and uh, unless you're in the 
older blind program or just looking for independence is that getting your foot in the door in employment and preparing and getting out there. Uh, everyone needs that opportunity and orientation mobility gives you the ability to get out there in the world and put yourself out there, um, which is so important. Um, so I moved on from uh, New Jersey. I was offered a position in the state of Florida where I ran their transition services statewide, uh, where they had uh, 14 transition programs. I worked with some fantastic people like Michael Elliott and Wayne Jennings and others, uh, Mondi Espatia, um, and learned a lot uh, about the services for people who are blind or visually impaired and, and state government. And uh, after working there a couple of years, uh, the American Foundation for the Blind created a position for me uh, working with their Career Connect program and creating curriculum around transition and employment and I'm writing content and doing workshops and uh, worked there for seven years where I later man during that time managed uh, the Career Connect program and their employment services and uh, I learned a lot uh, getting to interact with other states and organizations and countries and about their services and, and where services are and where they could go. Um, after seven years there, uh, I was provided the opportunity to run the Bureau of Blindness and Visual Services in Pennsylvania uh, and uh, learned so much from uh, the people I worked for and worked with. Uh, re truly lucky and blessed. And, uh, but during all of this time, I congruently, I, 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 I uh, worked on some TV shows, including uh, Marvel's Daredevil. Uh, on Netflix uh, where during season one where I trained a lead actor where some of the other actors uh, the child actor of Matt Murdock character uh, I also worked on the scripts well provided rev reviewed and provided suggestions uh, also around props and set and and uh, uh, whatever else they asked me for um, Similarly, uh, on the OA on Netflix during season one, I pr helped work with the creator and, uh, and lead actor, uh, uh, Britt Marling as well, uh, to help her uh, prepare for the role and also uh, aspects, and then uh, helped with props and set uh, as they needed. Actually, my canes are used in that show during season one. She's using, Britt is using my canes uh, in the show. That's kind of cool. Um, and uh, later on, uh, you know, I, I worked on another show that I'll be able to talk about more in the future. So this is just a little introduction or a long introduction, but I hope to post more videos uh, with more specific stories about things I've learned. And I uh, just wanted to test this out. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.